Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of a new Trekkie. My five-year mission to search out Star Trek media, to seek out our fans and merchandise, to boldly go where no fan has gone before. Greetings and salutations. How is everyone doing? So, happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays, and all that. Um, so today, when it comes to Trek, we're looking at things that I'm fa the top five things I'm thankful when it comes to Star Trek. So, um, I'll be honest, um, this, uh, this was a little bit kind of hard to narrow down because some of the ideas that I fought for for this list are a little bit mixed in together, so to say. I'm going to do my best, and so, let's get right in and talk about it with number five. And here's how I'm going to do this list. When it comes, I'll be doing, like, say, things that are considered small, and as it goes to number one, things that are going to be bigger and the influence of Trek. <laughs> Going to be merchandise. Well, uh, that's you're probably gonna think like say, well, that seems to be a bit of a given. Well, think about it. If we didn't have, if Star Trek really wasn't around, would you have like say characters or toys or in general of that uh, from this universe that you would like say whether it's a Funko Pop, like say a um. A communicator or any of those cool things flash the phaser it's a silent beam of light that signals when you score a hit on the target you missed i hit it i hit the target in a way i kind of think like say star trek kind of helped vitalize toys sort of like how in a way at the first release of star wars did i mean because in a way one thing that you can, should be thankful when it comes to toys they can help open one's idea of adventure heck you can like say that although like the crews of star trek probably got, gave into the ventures but same time you could also say the using of toys can help spark one's imagination by using said product so um i guess we'll move on to number four <laughs> honestly is going to be the use of music and honestly this is going to be a little bit difficult mostly because I don't want to use too much music because I don't want to get um uh, I'm in copyright or since I'm blocked in countries that's something for but um I will say that whenever you think of Star Trek you might think of, like, say, characters, or as well as locations. However, one also will be thinking of music. Because here's the thing, without music, especially in shows, films, you never, you don't really get the ideas of a, you know, product or anything, or a universe. Heck, I bet you could, like, if you could just listen to the like the themes of each like um introduction of one of the truck shows if you just showed it to anyone of like see anyone down the street you probably just say i don't think i know that. that that's from star trek right so um yeah i think you like see when it comes to things i'm thankful for i think we should all be thankful in a way for music when it comes from star trek no, they're not gonna change my mind Cause I've got faith of the heart I'm going where my heart will take me Especially when it comes to your yeah, themes and all that. So, let's move on to number three. Mm -hmm. 
I gotta say, number three, honestly, is characters. I'm really thankful that we have the characters of Star Trek in general. Well, I mean, think about it. And you're probably thinking, like, say, characters. Like, well, honestly, I kind of think that without the characters of Star Trek, we really wouldn't have much of basis. You'd probably just have... I mean, you'd probably still have, like, someone like a character like Spock. Fail to understand why I should care to induce my mother to purchase falsified patents. Or data. In honor of my cat. I call it... Ode. To Spock. But... Though, the characters are what make Trek, in a way, and also the storylines... Memorable. They what make Star Trek the pop cultural icon that it is. Heck, I mean, I'll, I'll bet you honestly, like, if you, if someone was to see a bit of marketing, marketing, they'll most, when it comes to Star Trek, they'll probably see the Enterprise, um, Tre uh, Spock, uh, Kirk, um, John Luke Picard, Captain Janeway. Well, I mean, unfortunately, probably it's not so much, um, I don't really know if there's a lot of merchandise when it comes to Voyager. Suggest solution. Call 1-800-HALLMARK for store nearest you. Or Deep Space Nine. I would have to do a bit more research to find out of that. But, honestly, I think it, when it comes to Star Trek, I'm really thankful that we have great memorable characters of this show. <laughs> Number two, films. I'm thankful for the fact that we have all the films that we have when it comes to Trek. Because, think about it, with Tre uh, original start run of Star Trek had actually been, after season three, the show was cancelled. So, although you might not always like some of, of these Star Trek, original Star Trek films, but they helped continue that franchise. They helped bring bring it more life and help continue it. And as well as bring it to a new genre, like a new audience. So I'm gonna give you number one. Number one. I'm thankful to Gene Roddenberry for creating it. And think about it, like, say, without the create, without Gene Roddenberry, although we'd eventually get something similar to Star Trek, but Gene Roddenberry, he helped develop it, he helped shepherd it, he helped, heck, he even helped for a time for season one, for a few seasons of Star Trek The Next Generation, he helped shepherd it as well. And also helped, like, give, like, say, a new writer crew and all that to help delve in to a new era of Star Trek. And let's and that's think about it. With all Star Trek, uh, Gene Roddenberry, then uh, some others would not be influenced to make other shows. It's over because we've decided it's over. Now get the hell out of our galaxy, both of you. Without Star Trek, there would have well as been no modern shows like, say, The Expanse. This is your last chance or we will fire. Or, heck, heck, I bet, like, say, if, heck, I'll be honest, I'll bet it would, it would already probably happen, but... There wouldn't have been copycat shows like, say, Babylon 5 without the creation of Star Trek, thanks to its creator, Gene Roddenberry, I bet. But honestly, what are you all thankful when it comes to Star Trek? 